Hi guys, Adam here, the Paranormal Polynesian. Today is 4th of July, happy 4th. It is a day where we eat hot dogs and we try not to blow our fingers off, right? Now normally I would post your tarot readings at the beginning of the month, but I've decided I don't want to do that anymore because I'd rather go look at haunted houses, wouldn't you? So last night I had to go pick Barney up from a party at her friend's house and she lives in a beautiful Victorian mansion in Salem, Utah. And so when I went to go pick him up last night, she gave me a tour of this house. This house is huge and it's old. There's definitely a ghost or two in there. But why don't you watch the footage with me because I haven't really reviewed it. You know me, I'm always catching weird stuff on my videos. You should keep your eyes peeled and comment below if you see anything on this week's Haunted History Walking Tour. Come on now. Today, Barney and I are driving about 10 minutes south of our house to Salem, Utah. Salem, Utah was founded in 1851, and yes, it's named after that Salem, the one in Massachusetts. The house that we're going to is owned by our friend Shani, and last night Barney went to a really fun birthday slash 4th of July party, and so I was an Uber, and that's why we're going back to pick up his car. But it, by the way, don't drink and drive this holiday weekend, because that's just crazy. I didn't get a chance to see it last night because it was so dark, but this is definitely the coolest house in the block. Would you just look at this place? Would you just look at it? So we're just gonna switch over to last night when she gave me a quick tour at the end of their their parties. So everyone's, you know, been having a good time, keep that in mind, and doing a very relaxed walkthrough of her beautiful, beautiful home. Remember, keep a lookout. See if you find anything paranormal happening in the video because I haven't had a chance to really look through anything. But I have a feeling we might find something. Tell us the story. This house was built in 18... Nine. It started in 1895. Okay. And finished in 1898. And it's so fabulous. I already see the ceiling in there. And I well, love it. Well, this needs to be replaced big time. Well, in there. I didn't even <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Look at it. It's so Barney, beautiful. why don't we live in this neighborhood? Barn. Barn, why not? What is this house? How Adam, where cute. have you been my whole life? I don't know. So this belongs with the home. This, this, and that. I love that. And this funky wallpaper. I kind of love it. I do too. So this they built a... on this. <gasps> Look at the wood. I know. It's, it's called all... Oak. Oh, wait. Tiger's Eye Oak. Tiger's Eye Oak. And look how many rings they let go over here. My grandpa had all this sort of furniture from the same time. Look at the rings yeah. on this shelf. That's gorgeous. It's like so old. Look at that. You can't even find that oh, stuff anymore. That no. This is the cutest kitchen ever. I know, but it's very tiny. Well, I, I mean, what do you expect in this age of a house? This. this is gorgeous. So my hubby exposed, like, Wallpaper was here, and look how much he ha he took off all this much. He's like, do we really have to go further? Is it <laughs> I, so like it. I like that. I know, and I'm like, no, you don't. Wow. It's awesome. Yeah, I like, I like that. It's beautiful. So a friend of mine, her 96-year-old mother-in-law, passed away and had all this furniture. This was part of her stuff. That looks great. So when we bought the house, we were told that furniture and this portrait had to stay with the house. And I'm like, why? They didn't know. And it was turned upside down in a room upstairs oh. because he freaked her out. But I have- The previous Prince owner said Charles, that? Yeah, Prince Charles is right here. Why? Look, is that not Prince Charles? Oh, okay. I see what's happening. <laughs> I, yeah. So, yeah, it does look okay. I was like, what the hell is he doing in Springfield? I I'll believe anything so anyone originally says. Originally, this was 
our front door. And then once they did all the tigers I oak, they made the, the big porch a mm. center. So this was Main Street. This was my porch. For years and years and years. Can't really see in the dark, but it's so so huge. I know. And then Well, we'll this go was up. Let's definitely a very prominent house in its day. Well it still is. But Everybody you can tell. Knows. Everyone knows this house. I don't know how I've never seen it. Really? No. Nope. My heart breaks. So my daughter, with a pen, sketched that. Oh, I love heart. that. And it looks just like my house. So they made this Center Street the. I see a flagpole with the Olympics on it. Yeah. What's that about? So one of the guys that lived here previously before the McNeil who murdered his wife. <laughs> oh, you can't tell me these things. <laughs> he didn't murder her here. Oh, okay. But they raised their children in this in this home. The guy that bought the house after McNeil. Okay bought this from the Olympics when they were at the Olympics up in Park City. Wow. They bought a flagpole <laughs> and brought it here. And they brought it here. That's pretty cool. But this is the best. I love it. Oh, yeah. So I'll look at the rings. This does not exist anymore. No. Look at these. I How know. cute. Push button. Okay, we're gonna walk up these. <gasps> Wait, stop. 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 Look at my. That is my great grandfather, grandmother, and great uncle. I love it. They just had to be here. I love it. And all of this stained glass was from a church that they tore down. This, oh, look at this. This reminds me of the house I went to in Nephi. The... So this was all here in the 80s. My bedroom upstairs was not part of it. Okay. Until the 80s. But this was. So we have a bedroom here. Cute. It is cute. And a closet. Ooh, and yes. the toilet, I love it. Yes. You can tell that's. <clears throat> this so, is how toilets used to be, you guys. Yes. So my hubby, we found this like stashed under the closet tub when we bought it. And I'm like, I want this. So he, he did this out of wood for me for my birthday. And I just haven't. Oh, you're like, getting lots of good birthday presents. It's the most beautiful. Look at I this. I love that. I love, I love it's a built-in. so gorgeous. You can tell, so this was probably put in in the 80s, right? 80s, but yeah. this is but this original. Isn't. But it still looks great. It's so Look beautiful. Look at those doorknobs. Okay, so downstairs, I, I bought a doorknob, which we didn't look at, which we will go back and look at. Oh. Two years prior to building, or to buying this house, uh-huh. I found a doorknob in Idaho. And I'm like, I need this doorknob. And then my husband's like, why? Why do you need this doorknob? I don't know. Do Does I it match? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Here's a bedroom. We'll go down there. This, my daughter has this. They exposed the brick here. But look at that. Oh, yeah. So I love gorgeous. it. I love stained glass. So she has this whole area. Yeah. Well, this is a nice setup. Yeah, she's with this beautiful walk-in. That's a big closet for this house. And they have the skeleton keys still. Oh, I love it. And then the 
couple of minutes before us exposed that bread. This would have probably been like the servant or the the, the nanny's place area, or I, do you know? I don't even know because it's or like the live-in help. Well, downstairs, I know that that was uh, where they birth babies, and I'm a labor and delivery nurse. And I had oh. a medium come in, and she's like, they had many babies. Oh, I was just that. gonna say, there's lots of kid we, energy in this we house. We didn't even go there, so let's. I. What, what what's going on up here? This is my bedroom. And uh, you go in it this like this? Oh. Yes, because I'm trying to like conserve energy. Well, that's and nice. Oh. <laughs> so I was in, confused. In the eighties, they built on Ooh. this. Oh my God. The upper level of the master. Wow. What? What is this? What is, what is that little bed over there? Oh, wait. How cute. The turret. So on the outside, there's like witch's a witch's head. Oh, witch's head. Go in there all the way and look up. It's the oh, house. this is the point oh, of the house. This amazing room. This is the point of the witch's hat in the turret. Yeah. How cute. I know. I Isn't love it. it. So and it's a little area. Oh. And in the winter time, I will let you up there. Uh -huh. There's 20 windows for a lookout, but it's so fucking hot. Oh, I, I can't breathe up here. So well, it feels good there, in here. You walk up there and you can overlook the whole. So, house. widows walk. And I will show you. Look at you those later. fans, those are cute. But not tonight. Oh, that's fine. I know. What, so a, what a lovely master suite. I know, the whole thing. So I have and look, they have a fridge in their bedroom, Barney. It's fine. No, a fridge and a coffee pot and... Yeah, because you're all the way up here. You don't want to go downstairs. You don't want to go downstairs. Shower, we have the Jetta tub. No, not we, just me. I love it. I love it. No, this house doesn't feel bad at all. No. It feels like very friendly, lots of kids. That's what I was going to say. People have said that, and since my husband's passed, I feel even more yeah. warm and fuzzy. I don't know. This is, this house is a, it's, it's awesome. a very, very neat, very, has a good energy. Because I've, I've been to plenty that... Well, I told him, the minute we walk in, if it's got a creepy energy, I'm not. We'll just... By the time we walk through it, I'm like, I'm putting an offer down. The offer. We offered. But I'll show you. But like I said, I went to a house that is similar to this in Nephi. Like a few months ago. Yeah. And it... It was yucky. spooky. Yeah. It, it was is. spooky, but it was also used to deliver babies in, but well, it felt totally different. So down there, just in that one room, they're like, this is where there was a midwife, and this is where we deliver babies, but we didn't go there. So we will now. I love the stairs. So they did, apparently, these were not very user-friendly before the 80s. I don't know what... Well, like. I think, like... Most people died falling down the stairs back in that. No, I'm serious. <laughs> For a reason. Yeah. That was like the major cause of death in a house. So this, I, this was our bed forever, but we couldn't get it up the stairs. So I put it down here. And my husband passed away a year ago. We had flowers hanging forever. But look at this. So this That's is beautiful. the doorknob I bought two years prior to finding this house mm -hmm. we carried it around in idaho and he's like why do you want this doorknob and i'm like i don't know i love this doorknob we bought this house it had no doorknob right here does that look like it was meant yeah it's to be looks perfect it is so perfect wow look how pretty that is and then we're back here in the 
little front parlor. Yes. Why There's a. This house has good air in it for yes. being this so, old. So it's like nice and my cool. My grandma had these lights. <gasps> what is happening? Wonder if you blown a fuse. Did I? I haven't been down here forever. Oh. Got it. I love that. I love it. Love, love, love. The arch. Why is this, this fireplace. Oh, there it is. How so cute. This fireplace is way old. Like, from Europe. We brought it over. And all these tiles. The person, the people that lived here before were going to rip it out. And they did some research and they found out how old it was. Yeah, you don't want to do that. I know. Mm -hmm. I love all the dried flowers. Well, and these that's are beautiful. from my husband's funeral. Yeah. They're okay. gorgeous. And then a friend of mine, her, her grandma just passed away, who created these. I mean, my kids are so freaked I'm, out. They're kind of terrifying, I, but I mean, this at, is the scariest look, thing I've seen. Look at their. Oh my God. Yeah. It's like, wow. I know. But they're so funny. Barney, your birthday's coming up. <laughs> I'm going to make you a life size I made, doll of I us. made them hold hands, but why is it I mean, a they're kind of cute. like a pilgrim. Why? I'm not, tr I'm not about to say they're anything bad about them because they'll come alive and I kill me. I love them. They're cute. It is, wait, it's James D. Hall, Mr. and Mrs. James D. Hall. It's just medium giving me Annabelle. You have some nice wood in this house. Mm -hmm. And I love the, the color scheme of the outside. It's all red and green then. Okay, and so tan. I got to say, back in the 80s, there was an AIDS patient who was dying. He wanted to leave his partner money. So the man who lived here was McNeil. He was a physician that killed his wife eventually. But he paid him to do all this color scheme. Okay. And so. Well, it's appropriate for the, the period. It is. And we need to paint over it eventually. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> so you're saying someone killed their wife, but not in not this house? Not here. He moved to okay. Pleasant Grove. Wow. McNeil. So no killings Mark in this Mc house? No. And <laughs> my neighbors who knew them, it was like, I, they he, they were amazing. They had such a great. They had. I have all of the family's handprints in my driveway. McNeil's. It's got to be so weird to have so much history, it, but neat. Very neat. So awesome. Cause now you're gonna add to it. Good. It right? does. I normally tell Barney I'm freaked out of Victorian no, houses. I love this house. I wouldn't so mind this much. one bit. I, it's I, so I, homey feeling. Really, I told my hubby, if it doesn't feel good, I'm done. And if you and have anything, it's going to be just good stuff. It's more comforting. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I love it so much. I mean, this is it's pretty nice. What? Thanks, <laughs> Well, thanks for letting me see this house. My hubby's sister did that spinning wheel. Spin wheel. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like 120 years old. It's not... She's like, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I mean, it looks it looks good there. I know. Just don't prick your finger on it. <laughs> your ass will be I going will be to sleep. I'm to go to sleep. Like, let me turn this up. Oh. Rory just turned off bubble What was that bell? I don't know here, so I don't know. But I love these. Oh, I like the push buttons. You switches. have the push buttons. Switches. I know. They actually make them still, like, so that you can make your house look retro and I want I want them Amazing. why did I just hear a bell that was it out front the, what? a bell, a bell over there. oh 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 wait let's see the bell oh, oh there it oh, is that is the little bell but they have no but I heard it over here what well, kind of American horror story <laughs> 
sounding. That's a great bell. It is the best bell. Bell so on the back side. It works for the house. It's just like, ding ding, like a bell that you had on yeah. your stupid bike. That's yeah. so cute. I'll show you. Do you want to go down in the cellar? Uh, if I had a dollar for every time I've heard that, I'd have four dollars. <laughs> and I've made it out each time. Look at that. And that was the doorbell back in the day. That's cute. We should go down in the cellar because every house needs a cellar. Can I, are you, are you will you allow me to share this on my YouTube Absolutely. page? I People watch, love old I houses. Watch your YouTube page. You it's do. So freaking fun. It's don't hurt yourself. Okay. Down. Look at this rock. Who has this foundation? You do. Me, I do. Huh? Oh. Is that a body right there? Well, whatever. <laughs> it's my uh, Christmas tree! Shit. This is how the Blair Witch Project ended. This is what? This is how they built this shit. Or this stuff back then. Even the basement's not that creepy it's in here. Not, I can I'm come surprised. Down here and be so okay. I'm just very. I always was like, I'm gonna be creeped out, and I'm not. It's amazing. Honey, you... So that's it. That's that's this house. Yes. What do you think? So this is the Beautiful. only room that the two of us redid. We redid the floor and he... Uh, well, he did a great did, job and did. I really... I kind of love, love that. So what a neat house. Much. Thank you for you sharing you it. And I'm looking for... I'll be coming to another party I next know. time. I am like, where is that? I just had so much to do, but... All of the doors have the transom windows, at least this, if not... You needed those transoms back in the olden right. days, so it's hot. Amazing. I just Look love this it. this arch, you gotta get the arch. Oh, I know, that was, I was saying how much I love it. And it just frames the little dolls perfectly, <laughs> the little guys. Which people will, they might question. <laughs> I mean, I know. You better not follow me home tonight. <laughs> no, if they do, they're so sad. I mean, they. Love Grandma and Grandpa. They are cute. So great. They're cute yeah. and terrifying, just like real no. old people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Fabulous. I love them. We love you, Grandma and Grandpa Hall. So cute. <laughs> it's just a nice. Nice house, minus the guy who murdered his family. <laughs> he didn't do At, it here. Not here. He didn't, he didn't do it here. Grow way after they Maybe he here. went crazy because he, he had to clean 4,000 square here, feet. And they had one, they didn't even have a shower that worked upstairs. They had one bathroom. That's what drove That's him what crazy. Wait, made, it was that'll the make you go nuts. The clawfish tub, and, or the claw. The clawfoot tub. Foot tub. <laughs> it could be a clawfish like tub. Eight. Children. Nope. That would drive anybody crazy. So they were just living like they did back in the 1800s. Right. Still. Well, I'm not above a jetted tub. I'll, I'll, I mean, I I'll take the, the one you have. With a view. With a view. It's awesome. Well, okay. Thanks so much. Thanks for this tour. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the tour here. There's still other things to see, but uh, Shani was so sweet and said we could come back and visit again. And I just, again, want to thank her for opening her house and letting us take a look around. She's just so sweet. That'll do it for us this week on the Haunted History Walking Tour, and I will see you later. Until then, keep it paranormal. Bye-bye.